turned on field by the players and coaches today with free shipping. Check out NFLShop.com for the best assortment of championship styles. Shop now and celebrate the win. This is the State Farm Post Game Show. Well, some said they couldn't, some doubted them. Some wrote them off, but right here in the home of the Wire, the Kansas City Chiefs showed us all that the Kings stay the King. And for the fourth time in five years, the Chiefs are heading to the Super Bowl. And hello again, everyone. Welcome to the State Farm Post Game Show. Tonight on CBS begins with 60 Minutes and One Couple's mission to save wild animals around the world. That'll be followed by three back-to-back -back episodes of F. Mid Yellowstone. That's coming up tonight, right here on CBS. And back here with the full house, started with Boomer, JJ, of course, the triple threat, Nate Burleson, Coach Bill Power, and Phil Sims. Uh, I'm sorry, what's Patrick Mahomes' number? 15. Uh, 15 different. Yeah, he was. <laughs> listen, Patrick Mahomes in the first half was tremendous. He was, he was borderline great. But the second half, what did he do well? He managed the game, uh, and he did an awesome job. No turnovers by Kansas City. They got 66 yards of total offense until that play against Mark Marquez Valdez Scantling and each Travis Kelsey. And hey, with Davis, who the victors go everything. <laughs> hey, 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 life is good, huh? Yeah, life is good. It is. But I'll say this: Kansas City coaches did a great job. And now, if you're the Baltimore Ravens. This was a Super Bowl team they had. This is going to hurt for a long time. Right, I think they got away from what got them here. They were the number one rushing team in the National Football League, and they only had eight design runs the entire time. Uh, Give a lot of credit to Steve Spagnola. Yep. What he did, and he got had Lamar Jackson uncomfortable all night long, yeah. blitzing, man-to-man, -man, zone, mixing it up, and that's what Steve Spagnola is, a masterful defensive coordinator, a little bit shorthanded with that Willie Gay. He did a great job tonight keeping Lamar Jackson under wraps. Yeah, Lamar Jackson and the Ravens, they struggled to find some chemistry early on and it kind of bled into the rest of the game now on the flip side the kansas city chiefs like they knew exactly what they were doing uh, like patrick, patrick mahomes knows exactly where his bread is buttered and that's the pass catcher of travis kelsey i mean he was cooking from the very beginning of the game let's just check out what he was doing and i want you to pay attention he's going to move around the tunnel here he is a short slant route right over the middle of the field and here perfect coverage but the ball low in the lane from the dp he catches it going down for the touchdown and here just the two guys being on the side <laughs> You said it's football celebrity coach, and you're right. And there it is, once again, over the middle, making plays. Travis Kelsey was unstoppable today. Those Chiefs were great, but the Ravens hurt themselves at times tonight. Yeah. Those penalties at key moments, big time. We talked before the game about handling your emotions and keeping those in check. There were times today where it just seemed like those got away from him a little bit, and that hurt. I would just say, Travis Kelsey, uh, you know, so much for being distracted, because he wasn't distracted and hasn't been distracted the last three or four weeks. And I would also say we talked about controlling your emotions. The Baltimore Ravens showed a lot of bad emotion, emotion in this game. And one player in particular, Zay Flowers, he's going to be a really good player. Yeah. He learned a very valuable lesson out here on this field tonight. Hey, boom. Distracted, I would say encouraged. Yes, yes, very good. Yes. Hey, folks, now let's send it over to Jim Nance for the presentation of the Lamar Hunt Trophy. Thank you, JP. It is that time for the Lamar Hunt Trophy presentation. And with the honors, the chief legend and Hall of Famer, Jan Stenerud, to present the trophy to Clark Hunt. Thank you, Jim. On behalf of the NFL, I'm so happy to present the Lamar Hunt Trophy to Clark Hunt, the chairman and the CEO of the Kansas City Chiefs. Congratulations, Clark. So happy for you. You never had a chance to accept this trophy in a visiting stadium. This team had to go on the road twice to get here. What's this moment like for this franchise and for your family? It's much such a special night for us first of all i want to give god the glory and i want to congratulate the ravens on an amazing year four years ago when you handed us our first lamar hunt trophy i gave it to my mom and the first thing she did was kiss it that moment showed how much she loved my dad and how much she loved the kansas city chiefs 
She would be so proud of Andy Reid, our coaching staff, and the entire team tonight. Chiefs Kingdom, we're going back to the Super Bowl. Congratulations. I knew you were going to bring up Norma. And she's in everybody's thoughts. Thank you, Park. Congratulations. She's in my thoughts, too. The Reid family is celebrating. Andy, you've got your hands on another one. This one has to be extra special the way you want it. Oh, it's great. I'm so proud of these guys right here. Huh? So proud of them. I'm also, listen, I'm proud of the job that John has done here in Baltimore. He's a phenomenal football coach. The city's lucky to have him. This is different doing it down here in Baltimore, but it's a great city. We appreciate the hospitality. Most of all, though, Kansas City, we love you, man. I tell you, the way your team played all around both sides of the ball, Coach Spags and his defense and that plan really worked well today, too. Spags did an amazing job. Uh, really, all our coordinators did. Nagy on the offensive side, Dave Tobe with the special teams. It was a joint effort. Everybody rallied it together, but Spags, that defense, man, they were dirty tough today. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you in Las Vegas. Congratulations, Andy. Jim, I appreciate you. Thank you, better. Thank you, pal. I appreciate you. Patrick Mahomes, come on in here. Woo! Yeah! You relish the role of taking this team on the road twice to be able to get to the promised land and now you've done it and now you have a chance to go back to back for the first time in 20 years in the nfl how important would that be to this team yeah it would be awesome um i knew going on the road we were gonna be okay we got a lot of dogs in that locker room and those guys came to play today defense offense special teams and we, we came back and like clark said we were gonna win this trophy with norma hunt not name on our jersey we promise you that so we went out and got that thing Congratulations, man. Let me bring in Travis. Hey! Woo! You became today, during this win, you became the all-time postseason leader in receptions in the playoffs. You moved past Jerry Rice. I know it was all about the win, but this was legendary stuff that happened out here today. Shout out to Jerry Rice, baby. The Chiefs are still the Chiefs, and believe it. You gotta fight! The Chiefs are the AFC champions. Congratulations. Let's go back to James Brown and all the crew. And Jim, Bill Cower really summed it up best as he whispered in my ear, nothing like the grace and humility with which the Chiefs have shown what a winning attitude is all about. And the State Farm Post Game Show continues after this.